and it's clear that the government's process for developing a comprehensive media package has evolved or has involved nothing more really than finding enough um, to feed the dwindling number of, of mouths at the commercial trough. Uh, no offence intended to Parliament's own trough. Several media commentators have obviously raised the questionable timing of Channel 10's voluntary administration. Now, I'm not actually prone to conspiracy theory, which is something that might surprise um, uh, some in this chamber. But let's take a look at how the industry uh, viewed the timing uh, and some of the circumstances surrounding what just happened at Channel 10. Dave Donovan of Independent Australia noted that this, uh, and I'll quote, this happened after shareholders Lachlan Murdoch, 7.7%, Bruce Gordon, 15%, refused to guarantee a new finance package, one that does not become due until December. There is no problem with liquidity at 10. It has good cash flow and it's paying all of its bills as they become due. In short, it is not insolvent. Nevertheless, this voluntary administration made during the second last sitting week of Parliament before the long winter recess did allow Communications Minister Mitch Fifield to yesterday stand in front of the cameras and solemnly urge Parliament to pass his new media reform laws. Lucky timing, hey, Senator Fifield. 